What's up everyone? It's Thursday, August 12th, 2021, and it's 84 Fahrenheit, 29 Celsius. It's 12.40 in the afternoon. And in this walk, I'm going to be exploring Culver City in Los Angeles County, California. It's named after its founder, Harry Culver, and it's mostly surrounded by the city of LA, but it also shares a border with unincorporated areas of Los Angeles County as well. This is the intersection of Robertson Boulevard and Washington Boulevard. Culver City is probably most famous for the center of film and television production, best known as the home of the Metro Goldwyn Mayer Studios and also so uh, Sony Pictures. Formerly, Sony Pictures was um, MGM Studios. Let's push the button here so we can cross the street. Here's a number one bus, Culver City bus. Right now, I'm walking towards the downtown area of Culver City. Once I get to um, Canfield Avenue, I'll be in the heart of downtown. And hopefully I can make it to the Sony Pictures Studio entrance as well. I just completely forgot to see that mural. It's pretty nice. There's a few uh, auto dealerships here, Honda and Toyota. instant vehicle appraisal. It's a large dealership, there's so many cars here. Across the street is the Sony Pictures Animation Building. It's a movie studio. Many notable um, movies have been filmed in Culver City. All on Culver City, uh, City Studios. Some being The Wizard of Oz, The Thin Man, Gone with the Wind, the Tarzan series and the original King Kong. And some TV shows that have been produced on um, Culver City is Jeopardy, Las Vegas, Gunsmoke, The Green Hornet, Arrested Development, and the syndicated version of Wheel of Fortune. First 60 minutes are free in this parking structure. All right, so I do want to make a right over here and I'll be heading into the downtown area of Culver City and see the sign at the corner there says Sony Pictures Entertainment. Let's 
across over here. I think it'll be better. It's a very nice pedestrian plaza. Also here we've got Culver Studios. Beautiful wooden house. I wouldn't even say this is a house. This is like a mansion hosting the Culver Studios. These people are taking pictures as I roll after them. Ready. See if I can get one in here. <laughs> Historic site number seven. I guess we'll just head through this pedestrian plaza and then we'll head north. I saw a lot of restaurants over on the other side. Very chill area. I love the blue and white cow they have in the front here. Culver Studios. There's Culver Boulevard. Nice grassy area, people can come here and relax. Nice water fountain they got there, as well as this building. over here this is neat a moment in time Harry Culver the founder of Culver City with his wife William Roberts Culver and their daughter Patricia Culver Newspaper. And over here is the historic Culver Hotel, established in 1924. Pretty.
Chipotle Mexican Grill, Cold Stone Creamery, and a Mediterranean Kitchen, Yala. This 51 Chinese kitchen. Look, uh, I like the play on the prices they got there. $15.10 lobster specials and $5.10 per additional lobster tail. Here's a cool spot called Rush Street. I love how there's so many references to movies in this place. Culver City Fire Department, Headquarters and Station One. I like how clean and spacious Culver City is. These residents here are very charming. Even that courtyard is gorgeous. Residential neighborhood, no theater parking. I can see why that could be a problem. There's sake house across the streets. Culver City City Hall over to my left. You gotta see this. Absolutely striking city hall, especially with the palm trees. I love this fountain in the middle too. Wait, is it a fountain? Culver Currents. That's kind of cool. Public art. I only thought it was a fountain because I see the fountain in the lobby of the city hall there. All right, let's head over to Sony Pictures.
Oh wow, there's another entrance to the city hall over here. Erected in 1928. And this structure is a 1995 reconstruction of the original 1928 City Hall entry wall. It's one of the most elegant city halls I've ever seen. Here's Duquesne Avenue. And over here we have a books and coffee shop. Vill uh, Village Well Books and Coffee. Looks like a really hip place. Hard to find bookstores nowadays. Especially mom and pop ones. Yeah, very charming in there. It's a beautiful picture. Culver is that you, artists Mosh Braca and Eddie Braca. The city post office. Looks like WeWork is in this building across the street. The one Culver building. And there's Sony Pictures Entertainment across the street with a rainbow in the background. Great corner entrance to Sony Pictures. What's this place here? Psychic Reader. Coffee X Cyclery, Domestic Cycling Club. This is neat. Wow. All right, uh, let's cross the street and we'll see how close I can get to Sony Pictures. Well, not crossed unless I press the button. The one Culver building is amazing.
think that's the water tower there. Sony pictures. Sony Pictures Entertainment. Wow, this one Culver building looks completely different from the side here. All slanted glass. And see there, it says the heart of Screenland, Culver City. All right, here's the main entrance of Sony. Here's the shot. Let's go down this way. Let's see what's over here. I like to feel like it has something to do with that. Victor Jr.'s Pizza and Philly Steaks. Looks pretty chill in there. Coming up is Jasmine. Hard to see above this fence. church having its uh, tower repaired but now we can see a little bit inside yeah not much over here but these chandeliers are amazing
here it is, historic landmark. 1915 was found the first motion picture studio in Culver City, built by Thomas H. Inks. Wow, look at that. Old posters. Cool. All right. Well, I think I'm going to end my video here. If you enjoyed this walkthrough of Culver City, then please smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these. And I will see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.